All right, guys. Thank you all for waiting while I was just dealing with some issues. Um, basically, uh, basically, the mod wasn't launching. I don't know why. Uh, for some reason, whenever, whenever I like, I launch Justinian. I feel like seven out of ten times it just doesn't launch. Um, so it might just be like I've got some like corrupted files or something like that. I need to maybe resubscribe to the mod, but basically, um, I just basically had to like restart my PC like four times and uncheck various mods, try and shift the load order around uh, to get it working. But but it's finally working. So huzzah! Tur Total War Terminator is not a noob. We're we're back. We're here with a live stream. And uh, today we're gonna check out Age of Justinian uh, because it's gotten a major update recently. And I'm very excited to run through uh, some of the changes with you guys to talk about the update and uh, what what it's doing essentially, what it's, what it's been doing, what the uh, developer, um, I don't remember his name now. Hold on, let me just uh, double check here. Uh, he's got a fantastic name as well. Um, Wibbly Wobbly Wonder. Wibbly Wobbly Wonder uh, has been working on Age of Justinian a lot recently. And um, he released a really, really nice update. And he's been kind of uh, patching it since as well for the last, I want to say, month, three weeks. And it's really cool. He's done a lot of really good things for faction emblems, for uh, unit textures and uh, looks like some of them were quite buggy some of them needed updating for the Romans for uh, the Aaron Shaw faction for a lot of a lot of the factions there needed to uh, be some work done to to bring them up to speed a little bit there um, and some other bits yeah so we're gonna run through all of this all of this and more and we're gonna do a campaign as well and it looks like Looking at the poll, at the moment anyway, the um, the the Romanoi are are in the lead, of course. Justinian is in the lead, so uh, and it's pretty it's a pretty hefty lead as well. So I'm gonna end the poll here, really quickly. Give me two seconds, guys. Let's just end this poll. Seventy percent for the uh, for the Romans. So we're gonna try and uh, we're gonna try and salvage the economy we're gonna try and uh re kind of establish our i guess power over the people because public order is in a pretty shitty state if i remember um and lots of other bits as well because we're gonna get invaded in a in a couple of areas i think um and yeah, it's going to be a tough campaign, man. I remember when I first got Age of Justinian, I, I started with Justinian and it took me like 20 turns to stabilize the economy, get public order into a positive state, have a few like decent armies um, guarding my uh, Balkan border, my eastern border, and then uh, in Italy trying to like basically carve back the... Uh, the rubble from the various invasions um, over the years uh, and, and lots of other bits as well. It's going to be really cool. Um, so just looking at like the change notes, guys, the, the main the main kind of difference is, is there was a faction added. So there's a new faction called the ISDI. Uh, this is in this kind of northeastern area. They're between I think they're kind of between like smaller Germanic tribes here and uh the eastern kind of like invading hordes so that would be um so that would be yeah like the avaroi here the avar hordes um there's a few others just like them in this area that we're gonna have to deal with as the romans as well uh so that's a new faction that's been added it's very exciting i might just do like a little video about them maybe just introducing uh their kind of position and how they start their unit roster uh, which is quite cool another big difference is a lot of the faction leaders have been updated as well um i'm not sure exactly which ones some of them look new i haven't i haven't played age of justin in, in in a long while actually but a lot of these models are brand new which is really cool i'm pretty sure this is new a lot of it is really really well done and uh very exciting to look at as well i just love that this is still being updated like personally Aegis justinian is is definitely one of the most polished mods 
you can play on Attila. And it's such a good time. It's such a fun, fun mod. Um, and there's the picked. Uh, so yeah, I, I, I had that as an option on the poll. And um, yeah, I do have a kilt, by the way. So we'll do a Scotland stream very soon. And I'll wear that kilt for you guys. Uh, the symbols are all new here. The faction emblems. We've got, um, you know, uh, uh, kind of changes to battle mechanics as well. Uh, so that's kind of like, um, so there are changes to the fire angles of archers from 55 to 45 degrees. So it's a bit more natural looking. There's like a whole range of stat uh, uh, stats that have been adjusted for various units across like a wide range of factions. So I'm not going to be able to cover all of them. But for example, armor stats have been increased for the Scutatoy. Um, there, there have been several stats that have been uh, changed for the Garamantes units. Um, all of that is trying to balance the mod, obviously, from a battle perspective. Uh, I think a lot of it is probably going to bring some balancing to the Romans as well, because some of those Roman units are really, really overpowered versus uh, the, the kind of other localized kind of factions and kingdoms, etc. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of that going on as well. Um, removed fire, heavy and whistling arrows. Um, yeah, there's there's just there's a lot going on here in terms of what's been done in the mod in recent times. Just just like scrolling through the the list of the list of changes. These these are all by the way, somebody asked if um if I could go through all the factions really quickly. So that's this, this these are the nomadic tribes, your hordes, you've got the Roman states. Uh this is kind of like they're they're all broken they're not broken up. This is all kind of Roman, you know uh in essence but they're 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 like provinces essentially so you've got a variety of roman provinces that you can manage in a campaign uh there's the eastern faction so you've got the uh alani alani uh the banu Ghassan. you've got armenia the kirk turks the aran shah faction um you've got eastern germanic factions so these are the factions i was talking about uh just west of the new factions the uh isti uh, so lots of really cool little factions here as well. All of these factions come with like custom unit rosters, by the way, if you didn't know. Neustria, Regnum Swevorum, the Visigoths, the Langobards, these settled kingdoms essentially that have invaded and settled into these like, you know, European lands. Uh, we've got the Norsemen of the North, the Danes, the Yotar Angli, all of these kind of Norse-ish, uh, Norse and Celt kind of areas. Um, with these kingdoms that are really, really cool. And then you have the Slavs and the Balts. Um, so Anti, the Wendin, the Sklavenoi. So all these interesting, historically authentic, accurate kingdoms of this time. You know, it's a very interesting time in European history. So we're going to go ahead and start off with the Romani. I'm going to do it on normal because I don't want to suffer. <laughs> uh... And that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to look at the chat for a second and just say hi to everyone as well. Very quickly. So yeah, we have new generals and faction leader models. We have, and that's a lot thanks to Anas Vara, by the way, one of the another lead kind of lead kind of visionary developer of the mod and the other mods as well 642 um and and the others uh 582 extensive reskinning and improvements to unit textures and multiple rosters courtesy of the many hours of research and hard work by uh one play so these are specific to the romans Aaron shot latin kingdoms so all those western kingdoms in europe that i was talking about these guys here um the Averoi and a few other factions Battles have been redone, overhauled, stats, uh, retextures, performance as well, in terms of closely matching their actual appearance in history. Um, there have been a lot of like stats that have been simplified by unit tier, equipment, experience, and traits. And Roman infantry regiments now use a combined Spatha spear animation for added historical immersion. There's a new playable faction we just went over, um, and they're kind of in between the Norse and the energetic Slavs in the East. And uh, there's a bunch of other kind of unit replacements as well for a lot of the DLC factions. So Slavs, Celts, Himyar, Langobards, um, all of those have kind of gotten some really nice uh, 
changes as well. Some UI changes here as well. The flags that we went over, the emblems here, uh, new unit card background. So if we look at this army here, for example, there's a bit of a, a new updated background to them, a bit of a different color. Um, and new loading screens, which we just saw. I, I've never seen a loading screen like that. So yeah, some really, really nice stuff here. Um, and there's plenty more like since then. So that update came out about four weeks ago. We've had a couple of patches since then that have fixed various bugs, uh, altered some other stats in battles that make it a bit more balanced, um, etc. Lots, lots to get into here. So uh, we're going to get straight into the campaign here. Um, I am going to... Wow, the chat's been kicking off. Uh, I'm going to say hi to everyone here. Hey, guys. Welcome to the stream. JJL, I hope those sandwiches are amazing. I'm a big sandwich lover myself. Uh, what kind of sandwiches did you make? Greetings from Romania. I'm hyped for this mod. Let's see what it brings to the table. Voda. Sharky, hello. Legendarian. Licensed terrorist. Uh, Voda. And I, I hope you saw those uh, factions, Voda, by the way. You were the one asking for the uh, playable factions. Salve. Harut Yoon and TOG and James Bartlett. Um, Andrea Malavena, uh, Dojan, Ilya Filatov, Band of Brothers, uh, Ayana George, hello United Asia, we'll show some of the Sassanids definitely, Summary, welcome my man, how's it going, um, Caxel isn't wearing any pants apparently, uh, <laughs> uh, greetings from Serbia, Demetrius, great to have you here, Jack D'Ambrosia, and... Uh, Amir Assad. Hey guys, welcome everyone to the stream. This is definitely one of my all time favorite mods as well. Joe on it. Welcome to the stream as well. Great to have you here. Uh, I have to do an oblig obligatory shout out to him as well, guys. If you've never, um, checked out his channel before, Joe on it does YouTube videos and streams as well. And he's brilliant at them. He covers a wide range of mods, gameplay uh, videos, and spotlights, and all sorts of things. So check out his YouTube channel and give him a sub. Uh, I'm sure he'd really appreciate it. So let's get into it here. So we are the Romans, the Romanoi. Um, this is the Eastern Roman Empire, essentially, after the, the final, I guess, kind of attempt at reclaiming the old Western Roman Empire land. So we've got a fair number of cities in Italy here. Still some ruined cities here as well. So we've got Neapolis here. We've got uh, Fiorentia and Verona here that are in ruins. Um, we've got Corsica and Sardinia. We've got Palma here as well. We've got a few lands in Spain. Uh, but we are at war with the Visigoths. So that's going to be something we're going to have to keep an eye on. I'm not sure how we're going to do there. We've got lots of North African Holdings as well with Carthaginian land, older Carthaginian lands, Leptus Magna here, big city center, and Ptolemy over here, or Ptolemy over here, rather, uh, Paratinoium, uh, Alexandria, uh, early Cairo, I guess. Um, and then, yeah, all the way east to, yeah, basically our borders with Aaron Shah, the, Sa the kind of Sassanid, almost post Sassanid. Uh, Eastern Empire here that we're probably going to go to war with eventually. We've got three armies stationed in the east here, Edessa and Melitene. So we're going to have to do something about those. Um, we've got Anatolia, Greece. Of course, we've got Constantinople. Um, with our general Flavius Belisarius. And... Um, yeah, we've got we've got a we've got a, a a bit of an interesting border up here as well. Now we've got a number of vassals um, to start off uh, with as well. So we've got uh, the anti here. We've got, or maybe they're just defensive alliance here. Um, we've got the regnum langobardorum. Uh, we've here. Why don't we just go into diplomacy and see? Actually, uh, we've got we've got the nasimones in Africa. We've got Lazica and Abascia. These are our subjugated um, puppet states here. Um, but we also have a few tributary states. We've got Banu Ghassan and Gothoi. Rango, uh, Reg Rango? Where did that come from? Regnum Langobardum. 
these are our tributary states we're in a not so great place with regnum visigothorum so the visigothic kingdom here and the Saracenoi, uh who are a hordic horde faction uh faction god i can't talk today a horde faction over here in the east as well they're going to be invading our land so we might want to make peace with them while we're kind of uh reconciling our empire from a public order and economy point of view lots of other negative bits around the map as well it looks like um lots of potential enemies all around in the balkans the slavic lands up here as well it's gonna be tough it's gonna be a very very tough campaign to get us started um so why don't we start with the economy so we're at minus 95 uh income at the moment we have public order issues as well across almost every province barring one two three four five six seven eight provinces so <laughs> barring eight provinces we've got a lot of issues to get through here um i think the worst of which if i remember correctly is carthagenesis um or Car carthagenesis over here um minus 14 and Sicilia, i think or this one maybe no this one venetia so these areas are going through some pretty hefty issues um so yeah yeah i'm gonna say why don't we for the for the start over here let's maybe not tax these provinces hmm, this one's actually kind of tough where does the public order issues come from so there's a lot of religious differences but the main issue is food it looks like I wonder if the other issue in Venetia is food as well. It is. Look at that. Interesting. Okay, cool. So we can actually fix that really easily. Because um, I remember the first time I played it about a year and a half ago, uh, the issues were a lot heavier on the religious side of things. Um, but I think it's okay now. So let's just go through each province, see what we can do. We've got some ruined docks here. Um, but we need food. So minus 40 food. What's consuming a lot of food at the moment i think it's just the main settlement buildings we don't have any food production um okay okay no worries no worries we're gonna get some food going over here i think that's the most important thing we can do right now for these provinces um we've got some waterworks we've got a latin chapel um right of course our current religion okay our current religion is greek christian so we need to convert this right okay what we'll do is convert that and waterworks i need the sanitation really don't i current squalor's at six sanitation hmm cabernet and trade jetties um yeah we definitely need that chapel let's get rid of the waterworks for now let's get rid of the waterworks and uh and focus on food over in this province here and then yeah i'm gonna be going to war with a lot of people uh definitely uh it's gonna be tough man it's gonna be so tough uh so we're already at war with the visigoths over here so we're gonna have to do some recruitment and maybe beat them off but we're gonna have to make some peace i think as well uh sorry just keep going let's just keep going here for a second so we've got fields being built here um that should help with the public order issues we're suffering in veneti um tuscia at campania is at minus four and we really need to convert this one i need a city actually so i've got either of these cities will do why don't we go down here then and uh repopulate oh, i need more money to do that oh my gosh this is gonna be tough okay let's go back up to rome <laughs> and let's just increase the tax level a little bit i think 
Oh, that's gonna be really bad if we do that. Oh my gosh. Okay, no, let's let's uh let's bring that down again. Um It's okay, it's okay. We can do this, we can do this. So we've got I'm pretty sure we have a navy somewhere. Do we not? Do we have any navies? Um oh, wrong one. Here we go. We've got a navy here. Let's get rid of these guys. There we go. 615. Um, we've got this army. I'm going to need that army, I think. Why don't we get rid of this army here? Or medium spearmen. What can we recruit here? Crap. Okay. What can we recruit here? Also crap. Why don't we get rid of... 205. Do we have any cavalry here? We don't have any cavalry there. Okay, we're going to send this army over towards this one here to reinforce that province. So that's what we're going to do with that. Um, what else can we do here? I mean, this army looks... Oh, this is a tier 2 cavalry unit here hmm. Commander. At your command. Bowman Ready cavalry for cavalry Ready for orders. okay let's get rid of these two let's keep this one and push it At north and then I think I'm going to push this one south and give the troops to Odessa because what we want to do is just have one solid army to um protect this frontier because the main the main issue is Aaron Shah right now right this is his first city over here in our border Nisibis they've got Stesiphon or Tesiphon down here as well so this is where the the bulk of the force is going to come up to if they declare war on us so we can do that we can get rid of him and then we're going to move this guy up give the troops over to this is this this army over here as well and then get rid of him as well um and then we've got a couple armies here too so we can move these guys up maybe we can get him over here i think belisarius is probably going to be the better army versus atabanes i'm guessing here ready for battle yeah he is definitely um and then three 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 yeah so I, I actually really want two armies here. So we are going to move this one up. Let's keep you in there for now. And we're going to give him the troops. And we're going to get rid of you. Yeah, so uh, he's going to go into the city here. Help with the public order. I might move him around depending on whether any of the other provinces here actually need public order but we're in the positive right now from an economic point of view and i don't think i can bring that down without issues so we're gonna move this army over here we're gonna give him the troops disband this guy as well that's gonna help us be even further into the positive and then we can start thinking about um about our war at the moment our wars rather because i think we're at multiple wars at the moment Let's go for the food chain at the moment. I think that will help. Uh, sorry, got to take a moment here. <laughs> this is such an intense mod, dude. I love it. The challenge with the Romans is just immense. Okay, so diplomatically, um, we're at war with the Saracens. Let's just end that war. Peace treaty. Um, demand a payment. Sure yeah, let's just max it out. See what they think. Low. Okay, not not a problem. Okay, so we've got peace with them. That's fine. That's good. We have a defensive alliance with the anti. They're not going to go for it. Mm. Okay, no worries. Uh, Aquitania would be an interesting ally in the area. We they are, are at war with the Alamanni, Bavaria, Thuringia, and Austrasia. Hmm, interesting. I've met Austrasia. How powerful is Austrasia? Number three. Look at that. 
Okay, uh, interesting. Let's let's do it. Let's let's give the trade agreement with um, Aquitania. Try and help them to become the power of the Franks, to unite them. Uh, try and play a little power politics over state, here. Welcome. So we got Corduba here. Um, they're a Roman, Roman allied province, I guess. So we might actually. We might actually become allies with them at some point. We'll we'll say we'll say at some point maybe. Um I just need the money at the moment. That's good. We have a non-aggression at the moment with Aran Shah, so who knows? He might go back on that soon. You have my ish. full attention. My ears await your words as willing slaves. As willing slaves. Something wrong about that. Um, okay, he didn't accept the top one. What about this? There we go. What about Neustria? That could you be good. Hi. Okay, so Neustria and Aquitania are at war with Austrasia. It's helped us meet a few others now as well, which would be good. Trade. Here we go. Accept. Regnum Suavorum, they would be a good Although faction to ally in this war against the Visigoths as well. Fine. What about the Vascones? Nope, they hate us. Cool, cool, cool. I think that's it, isn't it? An anti don't want to trade with us. Okay, look at that. So we've doubled our income through trade. We've got a lot more money to play around with as well. I can send this army back down to populate Neapolis which we desperately need man um so we'll quickly just fix that and we'll fix that jetty as well bugger I should have really gone for Fiorentina because that will give us the um farm okay no problem so we got that going there we've got this army over here all is well all is well for a moment. Bantes has low loyalty, which is not good. Let's see if we can do something about that really quick. Uh, secure loyalty. Where are you? There you are. War wariness. Yes, we have war wariness in Age of Justinian, if you didn't know. Um, chapter one is preparation. God, I love these chapters. So they made ready for war. And that's what we're trying to do here. We need to stabilize the economy, stabilize public order across the empire. And while we're doing all that, um, we need to start uh, increasing the recruitment across our empire as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this, I think, back to Constantinople where, or actually, this is the same province, isn't it? It is, yes. Uh, so we can we can do a bit of recruitment in this army as well. Some cheap recruitment. Okay, Jesus, 930 upkeep for the Bucalarii. That's crazy, dude. Um, okay, I might keep it like that for the moment. These guys are going to meet up. Is there anything else I'm going to do here? Egyptus minus four. Actually, I might be able to just decrease the tax level. It's 324. Hmm. It wouldn't be enough anyway. That's okay. Uh, Egyptus minus four, minus one, one, three, four, four, one, two, three, four, eight over in Tripolitina. And that's due to religious differences. Um, can I get a priest? No, I can't. Hmm. Religious influence plus five Greek Christianity. Maintenance cost minus 600. That is so expensive, dude. Okay, I'm not going to build anything then. Um, we're going to maybe go for something a little bit cheaper than that. Maybe... 
Maybe the capital or a forum would be good. Let's go for the forum. That would be good there. And then that was triple Latina. We've got minus eight here. We will need to convert this, but minus 600. That's crazy, dude. Let's let's get rid of that. Minus 30 definitely comes from religious differences, but that's okay. Why don't we go for, again, a forum here as well. And then I think we might just leave it for the rest of these. Minus nine over here. <sighs> religious differences. Yeah, okay. That's going to be a little tougher to manage, I think. Do some light, light recruitment over here. Once this army's back over here as well, that will give us uh, six, eight, a 12 unit army, which isn't too bad. Okay. Um, right. Oh my God. There's so much to do here. Last thing we need to do. We need to decide on our governors. So the worst affected provinces, we've got Carthagensis here. Um... Only statesmen may become governors. All these are... All right, we already have a few statesmen, and the rest of these are generals. Okay. Master planner. Stempest defender. So let's go for the planner for Carthagensis. And then... What was the other one? The Venetia. Here we go. Um, Let's go for the master planner for that one as well. Cool. We're gonna have to give them edicts. What kind of edicts are we playing with? Um, we'll just influence morale training. Sanitation? No, maybe not sanitation. Food production and growth. Let's do that one. And then for this one will go for the, I think, the religious route, really, because, yeah, there's a massive issue there. So let's do religious influence. Okay, we're going to end the turn there. See what happens in the next turn. Oh, man, look at that. <clears throat> so the Visigoths are on the offensive already. They have a one, two, three, six, eight, ten unit army. I can't win this fight. I'm gonna go defensive. Uh, you update the mod up uh, updates automatically on Steam, guys. Just FYI. My suggestion would be to build fields in Egypt, Central Italy, and Anatolia since they are the most protected wow. regions. That I would do, and with the rest of the gold, you could convert into Latin churches. Yeah, definitely. Uh, will you review this update? Definitely will be reviewing it, for sure. Uh, da, da, da. Hello there, Termi. Finally covered my favorite mod this year. Played few campaigns over 100 turns with Alani, Sassanids, Lacamid, Huns, and I can say... There's action everywhere. I know, I'm the same dude. I love this mod. Um, I haven't tried the Alani campaign, actually. I don't know if there is a non-Steam version uh, non -steam version of this either. Um, Milos. My lord and his chamberlain. All right, Armenia wants a non-aggression pact. I'm down with that. I'm down for a little bit of money. So the Visigoths established a kingdom here. Interesting. Hispania. They established Hispania. The cost of war has increased. So war wariness is... Uh, damn, where do I see war wariness again? I've totally forgotten. Oh, here we go. Warrior in this one. 
That's okay. It's not too bad. As long as it do doesn't go to two, because two will probably be negative public order for all provinces. Um, also, I hear you guys. Some of you are saying, um, just forget about Iberia and focus on the east, which is fair enough. Um, I could, I could definitely just do that. I don't know. I think there's a way of holding everything. I think there is a way of making sure you don't lose anything. So that's what we're going to try and attempt here today. The wars will come, but... There is a way of defending everything. All right, loyalty secured there. Demolition done on these uh, buildings, which is good. So over here, we're going to get the, oh, bugger. Of course, I can't. Oh, that sucks. Can't actually like produce food in, <laughs> in a capital settlement. Of course, I need Toletum or Segobriga to do that. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Okay, I'm going to have to think about that. Uh, Latin church was demolished over here. Let's just convert it very quickly. And then this army can go north. And we can develop these and convert that I think that's that's the main thing I'm gonna do here kind of trying to like unify Italy again here with these cities being redeveloped I'm okay to be honest I'm okay with losing Malacca I just really want like Carthago this this is a like hefty income generating province here so if I can if I can defend this and maybe take Segobriga um ally with Corduba and potentially the Suevorums up here. I might have a chance at defending uh, Spain. Maybe. Oh, man. That's difficult as well. Minus nine. Shit is so tough in this mod. Uh, okay, cool. So we've got this one here. All right, I've already moved him, so that's fine. These are all good as well. Is there anything else I can do? I don't think there's... I really want to recruit a dignitary somewhere. We got a spy there. Not here. No. And... That's Constantinople is the only place I can recruit one. Yeah. Oh, a priest, rather. Okay. Uh, fair enough. Thousand. Okay, cool. That's no problem. We can do that in the next turn. <clears throat> uh, Milos. I don't know of a non-Steam version of Age of Justinian. I don't think it exists. Um, so I, I don't think uh, there's a, a positive answer for your question there. I beg you, consider the glory the war, lost forever. No, I'm good. We got the Magaroy over here as well with the Warriors of Fortune. So we've got... Imperium, which is cool. We've got consumption in Ephesus, which is not so cool. Uh, let's merge this army really quickly. Lots of cavalry, not a lot of infantry, so I'm gonna need to do something about that. Minus two, zero, minus one. Let's just get rid of them. I need the money, really. Um, yeah, 
wonder if there's a way of... I mean, their military ranking isn't great. Maybe not, then. Greek patriarchal church. Do I have any more of those? No, I don't. Um, I need to build one, basically. Could have had one here, but I demolished it. Hmm. Four turns. Public order issues here, like, not really bad. Okay, okay, here's an idea. So what we do is we get the Greek church here. That will give us a couple of priests. We'll recruit the priests in Palma or where would it be? Corrales, so the island. So recruit them in Corrales, get one to Carthago and the other over here. Um, that will help with the public order issues there at least. In the meantime, this one's going to keep going there. Looks like this Visigothic army is moving towards us. We have an insane garrison here, actually. Oh, that's very impressive. So I can just leave this city on its own. We'll move these guys in. I'm going to need a few more units, I think. So let's get a few more units in this army. And then we will... I think we'll try and go on the offensive here. Take out this army. Maybe take Segobriga, because I need one of these cities for the food. I'm trying to be like super like micro meticulous about how I help with these public order issues right now. They're doing okay. Neapolis. Rome has a slot here. That's good to know. And then I'm going to need the money in a couple turns to get Fiorentina as well. And I need to get that provincial governor as well. Still, still have a slot open. We implore you, show your strength. Hey, Izzy, Any how's it going, man? Welcome to the stream. Put fear in many hearts. No, I'm good. I'm not going to be joining you. Oh, but they are raiding my lands. Oh, boy. Trying my patience, you are. All right, we've got more disease. Edessa. Spartaria. So uh, let's do this governor, I think, um, slot. So where should we do it? Um, I think we'll do it for a Tripolitana. And we'll deal with the... Um, with the uh, edict in a second. Actually, let's just do it now. Hold on. Um, there's this magna, and we'll do... I think it's religious issues, isn't it? Yeah, we'll just go for religious influence there. Minus six. Let's get you guys on shore. And then we will dis disband you. Yeah. And then I am going to get a spy here, I think. Authority, unit experience. Yeah, let's see. Uh, let's see how defended Segobriga and Toledo are. do have that slot here that I haven't developed yet. Let's go for the rally field. Why not? Got a few more interesting units in the in the mix there. I'm fully expecting to, to lose this this region here. Septum, by the way. 
but I really want to save some of the more interesting income generating provinces. That's definitely a must. And then hopefully this is going to be enough money to populate Fiorentina. Oh, look at that. We have another army up here. How did I miss that? Fucker. Okay, uh, let's move this one down here. Try and merge maybe with the one at um, Viminachium. This one really needs a few more infantry units. So let's get some cheaper spearmen over here. Oh, can I sign another one? Okay. Um, oh, yeah. Three out of six. Mm, not yet. Not yet. Uh, Izzy, I'm good, thanks. I'm good, thanks. Also, general pictures look more like 3D, 2D pictures. That's a nice little feature. Yeah, I noticed that as well. Definitely. I offer this in my lord's name, for he is master of all men and a ruler without equal. Wow. 22 year old marrying a 51 year old. Gotta love marriages at this time. Uh, I'm gonna say no. I'm sure we can find a more suitable wife These for Justinian. Justinianus. No, nope, I'm good there. Ready for duty or declared. Okay, that's fine. And then let's just move this army up here. The Menachium. And then we will just get rid of this general here. Let's move this army up here. I wonder where Belisarius. All right. Let's just move this spy up to Segovriga. See what's happening there. Okay, so there's nothing there. They have an army just west at Toletum. It looks pretty shitty. And Segovriga has a minor army defending it. We have this Hispani, Hispania army here. It's a little bit on the worrying side. Okay, what are we going to do here? How long until that? We have one turn until that um, building is built there. So that should help a lot. Look, order five. Three and quarter minus one. Seven fifty from commerce. Uh okay, tactical decision. I think we're gonna get rid of the tabernet. Yeah, we're gonna get, a, get rid of the tabernet. Because we need uh we need a public order building there, really. We have two turns here until we get the priests. Minus fifty-nine. Minus four, minus two, minus 11, minus 14. Okay, yeah, so those are basically our worst provinces. Triple Latina. This one here. And uh, yeah, these guys. Oh my gosh, it's going to be tough. Libya, Mauritania. <laughs> Why don't we send this army up here, see if we can populate it yet. Ah, no. Just barely not. That's okay, though. Alright, uh... Why don't we end the turn here, then? And upgrade him. And then we'll end the turn.
<clears throat> Still waiting for a head-to-head -head campaign. <laughs> oh, Wallace, we will do it. We will do it, my friend. Today, this year is the year. Interesting. So they've sent... The Visigoths have sent a fleet. I think I can auto-resolve and win this. Don't trust... I know... I know you guys warned me last stream. Don't trust auto-resolve, Termi. Um, fuck it. Close victory. It was worth it. So, Flay Town. Title says new update. What's new, really? Uh, there's a lot of new things. So, uh, battles in uh, AOJ has been um, completely rebalanced. Stats have been changed all around, uh, especially for the Roman factions. So a lot of the Eastern factions, including Aaron Shaw, there's the Alani. Uh, a lot of the Latin factions, so the uh, Frankish fla uh, factions, they've all been uh, uh, a lot of rebalancing done to those um, unit rosters as well. Uh, there's brand new uni uh, faction emblems, and they're really cool. I mean, when you when you highlight this emblem, it actually lights up, which is really fun. Uh, so every faction has a new faction emblem, which is really really well done. Beautiful emblems. Um, a lot of the faction leader models have been changed and updated as well. They're all kind of like, they've gone from kind of like uh, simpler 2D-ish kind of like models to 3D models like this that look really, really good. Um, there's a new faction as well. I don't know if we have them here. The ISTI up here. They're a br brand new faction. They're right between like these eastern nomadic horde factions and uh the western kind of germanic and norse factions so it's a very could be a very in very interesting faction to get into up here as well in another live stream um and a few other bits i mean uh the there the there's a modder that's been doing a lot of work on this wibbly wobbly wonder um who all credit to has been doing an amazing job at updating this mod recently so that's everything really that's been happening to AOJ recently. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ready for 20. And then obviously in this city, we've got a nice, very nice garrison. Three, six, nine of uh 15 units Commander. interesting okay I'm, I'm thinking about it. i'm thinking guys uh so let's get this army to populate fiorentina next and we're just gonna build that up there and i'll get some fields as well try and build up our home our ancestral home of the Roman province here as much as we can. Uh, we just had a major battle here in Ajakium and won. So I wonder if they attack again, whether we're actually going to be able to defend it, really. Got two armies defending the, the north here. Still got this army in the east defending. I think I want some more fields actually as well. Got minus 12. Got some wheat fields here, but we could probably do some with some more. Or at least some more like income generating buildings. So we've got a forum here. We could probably do with a forum. How much food? Minus 12 food. And the forum. Yeah, the forum goes to unlock some really nice things. Let's go for the forum here. Uh, get some more income. And. I think the last thing we're going to do is we've got the oh, one more turn until we get the Greek church and then we can recruit some priests and uh, help with the public order in some of these provinces down here. What else can we do? Upkeep cost for melee infantry. Oh my God, that is massive. Uh, let's go for that one first, I guess. Next. Heaven be praised. 
Let's keep an eye on this army here in Segabriga. It doesn't look like they're recruiting right now. They're not. So let's go for a bit more cavalry here. And then we might start making our way north to take Segovriga. If we can take it, man, this is going to shift the balance over here. We're going to get food there. We're going to get increased public order. We're going to attack Hispalis and shift around and, and just try and take out the Visigoths. Hopefully, anyway, that's, that's the idea. Um... Let's complete that turn. <clears throat> oh yeah, true. A lot of the unit visuals have been upgraded as well. Terminator, what do you think uh, of Mountain Blade Bannerlord? This is a question I get asked a lot. Maybe you should do a playthrough once if you run out, uh, out of ideas or go, get bored from Total, Total War. Marbod 2, Marbod the second. Yes, 100%, dude. Um, One thing in this channel I'm going to start doing is playing a little bit more of uh, some of the other games that we have in this sphere of uh, strategy, uh, medieval, Roman games, or games like Bannerlord, you know, that are in that kind of, you know, genre. Uh, that flavor, but are just a little bit different in terms of um, uh, the type of game as well. So, absolutely, guys, expect some new um, except, uh, expect some new content from that perspective very soon. Uh, Happy New Year, Tony Pad. Welcome, man. Great to have you here. Uh, Noel, I've just been over what's been updated um, in this mod. I'll go over it again in a few minutes uh, for you if you like, but there's been a lot, lot of really, really nice updates um, so far in AOJ. Okay, so I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move this army north. We're gonna do. Yeah, we're gonna do one more turn of re recruitment. Melee attack, damage, charge bonus, armor. Okay, yeah, we're going to go for a couple of these and then some Arithmos. And then we're going to go on the offensive here. Um, we've got this, the king, the leader of the Visigoths coming over to Segobriga as well. With a number of units, actually. So, if they come down to attack me now. This will be interesting. Uh, in the meantime, though, we can recruit our priests. So we're just going to do that really quick. Solaris. Let's go for this guy. And then I'm going to recruit one more priest. Let's go for the radical. Why not? And one of these is going to go here. And the other is going to go here. And the two of them is going to help with the public order in these regions greatly. Minus five. Minus three. Yeah, we definitely need some public order over there. All right. Rome is finally in the positive from a public order point of view. Huzzah. That's awesome, actually. That's really good news. And then we've got one more city to retake here the only thing i'm super worried about guys is the uh the avars there's a horde here and they're gonna be coming down any moment up there i know a few of you want to see me uh attack uh, Aaron Shaw, right from the get-go, but it's it's just gonna be so tough if I do that. I think my um my war wariness is gonna hit the roof. <laughs> uh, Giancarlo, can we have a battle soon? Absolutely. Hopefully, there's a battle coming up right now when we move our army north um, into Segobriga. This stream is sponsored by Coca-Cola. Yeah, I've been drinking a lot of Coke Zero lately. Our ancestors have spoken. 
and they have named you as true friends. Okay, so we are oh, actually interesting. So the Avaroi want to do a defensive alliance with us. They're at war with Sclavenoi. Um, they don't have a very good strength rating. Yeah, I'm gonna decline this. No, reject. Reject, reject, reject. No alliances, thank you. These aren't the, these aren't the alliances you're looking for. Okay, so here we go. We've got a rebellion imminent. Um. Okay, so what I'm going to do is attack the city right away. That's going to take the public order all the way down. We're going to get a rebellion. Hopefully, it's around Sega Briga because if it is, I can quash it super quickly. And, um... And then, yeah, we can focus on rebuilding this province a little bit. Fountain, I am down with that, man. We need to repair this first. Uh, where is that priest? There he is. We can get you over there. We're going to get you down here, my friend. My work here is done. Returning okay, cool. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. This 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 could be interesting. They could go on the offensive right now and try and take back Sega Briga. What I'm hoping is the faction leader comes back down. If he does, then yeah, they're gonna unite and try and attack me. But I can definitely take them on. How can I assist you? <clears throat> I mean, look at this map. It is such a hard time to keep it all together. But we are we are slowly getting there. Slowly but surely we're getting there. Uh what are we at here? 5900 in the coffers right now. I think what we'll do is I think we'll start developing Rome a little bit. So let's get some waterworks here. I might need to upgrade this field in the next turn as well. All right. The stream is sponsored by Coca-Cola Zero. The drink that Terminator drinks. Yeah, it's not bad. It's pretty refreshing. I mean, I kind of prefer it now versus a normal Coca-Cola taste, which is super sugary, in my opinion. But yeah, so this... I don't know if, if this is the first time you're seeing Age of Justinian. This is essentially Age of Justinian in a nutshell. I mean, if you play as Justinian, you have a massively hard time of um, making sure your economy is in the positive, which is relatively easy to get to, but it's basically balancing that with public order, <clears throat> which is tough. It's tougher than it looks. So chapter one is complete. I should have I should have looked at the um the objective uh the bonus objectives. Let's look at that for a second. So chapter two maintain a total of ten units of the following type. Maintain sovereignty over three puppet states, research military standardization. Oh that should be easy. We'll do that after uh the current one. Maintain trade relations. Yep, that's fine. Carry out two political actions, including the following. Assassinate. Interesting. Recruit a priest. We've done that. So that's cool. Bugger. Okay, so the uh, rebellion <clears throat> is down here. Which isn't the end of the world, to be honest. I could. I could recruit Justinian himself. 
Why not? Why? Why haven't I done this? Uh, let's go with Romanus. Yeah, let's do that. Get Justinian himself into the mix. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll attack this army. And then um Yeah, we'll see uh we'll see if we can maybe use Justinian, build up a, a small army here to uh defend Malacca from from the Malaccas. I wonder if that Visigothic um, faction leader is up here. No, he isn't. Oh, that's him there. Look at that. Interesting. Oh, we're still getting over our last invasion from that. Hmm. That sucks. Toledum has a garrison of eight units. Eight plus 14 here. I think I could probably take them on, actually. Ready for uh, let's give it one turn. We'll give it one turn and see how it goes. That one's almost there. We'll get this one on land and deploy him. There is more I could do. I do enjoy now we have minus one public order here. So close. Oh, looks like Fiorentina's a tiny little village at the moment. That's cool. Um, 160. Hmm. Yeah, let's go for the auditorium here and then I'm gonna leave it I think and we can uh, we can push this army up and repopulate uh, Ver uh, Verona Verona last that's where the funds are gonna go in the next turn oh yeah man we can get access to some pretty nice units in this province if I want to yeah, you know what? Let's just do that. Verona can wait. At your command. And you know what? Let's replace. Should we? we yeah. Let's uh let's replace this general um with Justinus. And we have Tiberius Constantinus as well. Look at these guys. Zeal and authority. Now let's go for you. And then why don't we do it? Let's just get one of these um troop station in the Emperor's presence. The regular troops of the field army. And these are border guards of the Empire. Toxatoy. A la Limitanarium. And let's go for this one. Oh, we get Scooter. Yeah, we do get Scooter Toy with that one, though. Ready for battle. Hmm. Tough choices. Tough choices. Uh. Let's go for that one. Emperor's Guard, it is. How are we doing? For public order everywhere else. Minus 16. Oh my god, this is this is not looking great, is it? It's five, two, minus nine in septum. Totally gonna lose that province. Okay, cool. Let's end the turn here. Coca-Cola or Pepsi? Let's have a poll. <laughs> That is a good question. I like that. Hold on. 
I'll put a poll up for it. See what people think. Should we cooperate? Our enemies would cower. Not aggression with Corduba. I'm down, dude. But do you want to join the war against Regnum Visigothorum? Ah, oh, man. So many hordes just rolling through our lands here. Nothing I can do. Oh, who's died? Narcis. Okay. Let's get Constantinus into the mix then. Okay, let's let's do this. Let's do this. Pepsi versus Cola. Let's see what the people say. Um <laughs> oh, Pepsi or Cola. Here we go. All right, there we go. Let me know what you think in the chats there. I'm going to do my choice now. Oh. Two votes so far. All right, so Narcisse has died. Rest in peace. What do you wish of me? Suddenly we have plus nine, of course, because the weather is very warm. People are happy. Um, let's get the priest up here as well and deploy him oh interesting have they moved up from Tolitum? they have look at that interesting this has a small garrison but not small enough it's not supporting this army though. <sighs> Ooh, this could be very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Uh Segabriga has no garrison whatsoever. Trees. Hmm. Ready for battle. For death and honor. Okay, so they're gonna run off there. Justinian is going to come back here, and this army is going to finish them off, I think. That's the plan there. Oh, I hate these odds, dude. That's just ridiculous, man. To be fair, though, this, this AI army is a little bit hefty. I don't want to fight this. Let's, um... Let's finish off these rebels. Get back to the north. Ready for orders. We hunger for battle. We'll do a bit of replenishment. Ready for battle. For the next for the next turn, maybe two, depending on what these armies do, and then I think I want to take Tolitum. We take Tolitum, and then I want to try and defeat these armies over here. Yes. How is public order here actually now? 28. Wow. Ready for battle. Cool. I don't want to do anything up there. Maybe we can develop Alexandria a little bit here. Um, we have a fountain, so I can develop that into a, a better sanitation building. So I think here, what we'll do is go for... Maybe just go for a form again. Oop, um, let's reset that and get the public order done. Let's get 
What else do we want here? Uh, maybe research rate, actually. That would be good. Public order. Public order. Public order. An unassigned tradition here. Plus two integrity. Yeah, let's do replenishment there. And then let's continue. Yeah, the, the unit sizes are definitely bigger in AOJ. 22 votes, guys. Come on, lads. Pepsi or cola? I think I play on Ultra. Yeah, cola. people like cola. People don't like Pepsi, generally. I think there are 180 men. Or, I mean, to be fair, a lot of them actually are a lot more. 300, 300 men in the in this levy unit here. Okay, so let's see. Is that army still up there? Yes, it is. Okay, that's okay. What we're going to do here is just go and take Tolitum then. Yeah, I don't think we need to fight this battle just yet. We're going to get a battle, guys. Don't worry. I know it's been a little while. And we haven't had a battle yet, but it, it is coming. Commander. Let's occupy the city. We still have positive growing public order, which is good. Let's repair these buildings. And then in the next turn, we can, we can focus on um, maybe just focus on public order, to be honest. Uh, what happens if I bring this tax level down here now? 606, look at that. That's really good. Okay, wait. Actually, before we do that, let's just get that back up for a second. We'll do the... Uh, we'll we'll use the funds to... Um, to take Verona here into the Empire, and then, uh, and then we'll focus on public order. Integrity is declining a little bit, but it's not the end of the world. Guys, definitely deployed. Fine. Reading in Synop, Bithynia. Yeah. Hereditary service. Cool. So that got done there. Unit unit upkeep cost is now minus ten percent for melee units. That's just wild. Okay, let's do this one. Military standardization. And then we can. Yeah, we can continue on to the next turn, I think. Um, just before we continue, though, I'm just going to end the poll here, guys. Majority have voted. Cola has won. Georgia Mahalkov, what's the difference? Man, there is a massive difference. Cola has won. As it should be. James Blazer. Man, I knew you were JJL. I knew it. Mag football. Hey, hope you're having a nice day. Thanks, buddy. I am. I hope you are as well. I'm having a pretty good day, actually. I've, um, what have I done? I've done a, a bit of meditation, which is important, you know, to calm your mind and, um, let go of some of your thoughts and feel a little bit more positive about your day. I ran. I did a bit of running. Uh, so that was my workout for today. I've been eating pretty healthy thinking about total war and what kind of videos I'm going to be making. I've got a really cool video coming out tomorrow actually. Um there's a mod for Rome Remastered called Chivalry Remastered if you've never heard of it. And it just got uh the same campaign map treatment as Imperium Serectum. So there's a massive huge guys medieval map, medieval campaign map uh on Rome Remastered right now and it is amazing. It is so cool. 
Uh, so I'm going to be uh, showcasing that tomorrow. And yeah, lots of other things. I've got like a whiteboard over here with uh, the next couple weeks kind of planned out. As well as non-Total War related things. You know, I've got Knights of Honor 2 uh, to be reviewed. I've got a few other things as well uh, in the works. I'm not going to give everything away, of course, in one stream. Uh, let's get rid of that. Aryan Shrine here. I think we can... I think we can get rid of that as well, actually. Let's just get rid of these buildings. We have fields again, which is good. Because we were in the negative. We're still in the negative from a food perspective. So why don't we... Why don't we just spend a little bit of money and build this up? Let's go for wheat fields. And then in the next turn, we're going to go and repopulate Rona. And then we're going to bring down the tax level a little bit to help with uh, public order. Yeah, a lot of a lot of provinces are in the positive now, which is really cool. So good stuff is happening. Good things are happening right now. Excellent. And then it looks like the Visigoths are going back up here. I wonder if they're at war with Aquitania. They're at war. They're not. Oh. Interesting AI moves on that side of the world then 22 okay we'll give this one more turn to do a bit of replenishment as well but what i want to do is besiege emerita i think emerita is going to be a massive place to um to take or we could go past it and sack these two cities here sack them take emerita Push south to take Espalas, maybe with a pincing move supported by Justinian here. We have some heavy spear infantry now, so we could do that. It's a good life. Hell yeah, man. Are you ready to serve? Some cav units here as well. I love it. And then the two of these can take back Hispalis and secure southern Hispania here. These guys are kind of protecting our northern border. And then we're going to take back Verona soon. We have another army here that I've totally, absolutely forgotten about, of course. <laughs> uh, and then maybe, you know what? Just to finish off the stream, we might just invade Erenshaw and take Nisibis. Do a little surprise attack on them, see what happens. Battle pens, governor's estates, munition, integrity. That could be good, actually. Integrity could be a good one. Yeah, let's do that. All right. Let's do that and then end the turn. Uh, supposedly, they have the tools to make a campaign map for Dawn the Stays. Yo, 100% dude, I've seen that and it looks amazing. Uh, so I've got a chat. Oof, okay. Uh, you know, I'm not going to call my allies to help. Uh, I have a chat with uh, Elegy, um, one of the kind of lead developers, leaders of Dauntless Days, we're going to talk about um, the mod and how it's been developing, what the new campaign map tool looks like for Dauntless Days as well. Um, and I'm going to be making a video about it, so uh, keep keep that in the back of your heads, boys and girls. That's going to be coming next week, hopefully. But also, what this means is this is like a campaign map tool for Attila, right? So any Attila mod could use this, bloodshed, actually. It could properly... Um, Let us end this sentence use this tool to add new cities i mean the possibilities are endless it could be amazing i mean the the one mod i'm thinking of course is medieval kingdoms 1212 ad imagine the imagine the potential of properly converting that into a medieval map with medieval cities new cities you know that aren't even there um 
Let's intervene there as well, I think. So there's a navy there. At your command. I'm going to move Justinian over to Malacca. We're going to move this army west. And yeah, you know what? I'm going to do a bit of sacking. So we're going to move them to... Let's see. That one's got that. We'll move them and see what Paca has as well and sack some of these cities. And then focus on Hispania here. What is... Yeah, it's got a shit garrison, so that's fine. That's good. Um, right. Uh, hold on. Before we continue, let me just remember to do this. So let's go up here and take back Verona. And oh yeah, that is good. So we're unifying Italy here once and for all. And then we're going to get rid of you. We hunger for All right. Yes. Look at that. The Romans have taken back Italy once more. Excellent. Got a little desolate city here that I can take back as well, but I'm going to leave it for now. We've got an invading force potentially from the north over here, so I'm kind of focused on that at the moment. Uh, Marcianopolis has a decent enough garrison, so I'm not worried about that frontier at the moment. Um, yeah, I think I think this is um, I think this is in a good place actually. That's good. One. Two. Um. No, let's get some more. Oh, actually, we need the sanitation here, don't we? So let's let's build that bathhouse and let's get a workshop here. Get some more income out of this, and then actually, speaking of tax, let's lower that. Let's definitely lower that. Try and get all of this into the positive as much as possible. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm not bothered about those skills. Really. Uh... Sorry, James Blazer, you've asked me this. I totally forgot to answer you. Could you name two to three features you would love to see in the future of mods, scripts, mechanics, options, etc. Just mods in general, James? Or do you have one in particular in mind? I mean, like for Medieval Kingdoms 12, 12 AD, for example, I'm, I'm really waiting for the scripts. There's tons of opportunities for formation of new kingdoms, new, um, you know, uh, empires. There's uh, a lot that you could do script-wise in that medieval era. What is oh bugger? Better grant military alliance. Um I'm gonna decline that. Uh so yeah, let me know what you think, James. What what specifically? Is there a specific mod maybe you're asking me about? Uh Termi, are you still in CA's content creators program? Yes, I am, indeed. Added to Happy New Year to you as well. Uh slight correction, LG is a lead of promotion. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough, Anonymous Sicarius. So yeah, I'm going to be talking to him uh, very soon. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, something like changes to mechanics, family tree, etc. So yeah, I mean, if... If I were to change anything, right, about... Um, about mods. Um, it's such a tough question to answer, actually, because there, there's, there's specifically a few things I would change. Um, the first thing I would change is 
AI behavior if it's possible. I think AI in Total War needs a massive um, overhaul. So if if they could do that, if if mods could improve the AI, that would be my top choice probably. Um, I think second choice would be what you said, mechanics. So improving on uh, on mechanics like like sanitation. I think sanitation is good, but it could be a lot better, be a bit more interesting. Um, a lot of mods like DEI do a really good job with population, so I'm pretty happy with that. I think politics is a big issue in Total War right now, especially Attila and Rome 2. Political issues just don't really happen often enough. They're not interesting enough. Um, if they use some flavor from Paradox, they could they could make it really good. So, yeah, 100%. I think that that would definitely be in my list of things to improve in mods uh, if they could do that. Um... Okay, I might have to just besiege Emerita to get past it, it looks like. Let them cower like kennels. Shouldn't take me more than a turn. I think I'm gonna leave Tolitum actually, because it looks like this army might come down and try and take it. In which case, that's fine. I don't have a garrison there. I'll just do Emerita, sandwich Hispalis, and then push back north to try and defend this area up here. Nine, four. Got disease outbreaks again in various areas. Okay, uh, you know what? We don't have very long in the stream, half an hour max, so I'm gonna just, I'm gonna recruit some really nice units over here. Let's see, Light Shock, some Togma. We've got the Scooter Toy, so that's good, that's fine. Why don't we get um, some more cavalry as well here. Yeah, I think I think that's gonna be enough. Maybe not so much cavalry, actually. Yeah, let's do that, and then let's go and take the fight to uh, Aaron Shah. Why not? Why not? Am I right? Oh, we've oh, of course uh, we've taken Verona, but I haven't actually built it up yet. So I'm just gonna increase the tax level for this turn, so we can get that developed as well. Actually, I wonder if the Visigoths will just accept peace. Welcome. Speak. They will. Come Look on. at that. Do not waste time. Better spend it hunting. Interesting. That is very interesting, actually. So normally what I would do is probably make peace here. Because what you can then do is make peace, focus on Espana, maybe even take out Cordoba. We don't actually have any... Um, we don't have any treaties with them. We could take Corduba back and then within a few turns consolidate the forces and then attack the Visigoths and maybe even Regnum Suevorum at the same time. Take this whole Spanish peninsula. That's probably what I would do normally. But this isn't normal, is it? I kind of like the fight and the, uh, the suspense. Let's take Emerita. Let's push south and do this. Do that and there is a tax level increase, isn't there? Oh, maybe not. Okay, no worries. Um, all right, let's see what the Visigoths get up to. Yeah, James Blazer. I think one of the one of the greatest things about Paradox Gaming in in general and their games is is the fact that like it's not just it's not just the the depth of mechanics that 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 you know force you to essentially manage various aspects of an empire i think what paradox games do really well is is make you feel like you're in control of every aspect of your kingdom right so from 
from you know food production to religion to um development and technologies and the development of your culture your society your uh heads of course of state your um their wives their children um how you want to expand your empire whether that's politically with influence or or through war there's a lot of options on the campaign a lot of that obviously doesn't need to translate fully into total war that's not what i've ever thought of but i've always thought that some of that can come through and make total war a bit more interesting in the campaign total war is so heavily focused on battles that um i think sometimes it, it can feel a little distracted on the campaign you know that's why you know there are great mods like aoj where a lot of their there are a lot of really nice campaign mechanic tweaks here and there to feel to make it feel more alive um oh should we sack Ooh. let's let's sack the city that's what we're gonna do we're gonna sack the city we're gonna go back we're gonna defend Talitum, and then we're gonna attack espalas and then uh let's just develop verona really quickly let's fix this jetty and let's convert this church wait no let's get rid of that church um so yeah that's that's what i mean i mean there's there's there is a lot that can be done in in total war to develop the campaign side of things but just has not been done yet rally field we can convert that and then let's get rid of that i think then we will defend the city against these invaders maybe we'll go on the offensive against them actually uh, and then finally, on the east side, let's do this, guys. Let's declare war against Aaron Shah. They have an army there already. They have a they have a decent army, actually. Not bad, not bad at all. They only have three cav units though Ooh. all right so i promised you guys a battle this is the battle we're gonna take it to the field against eran shah at the battle of nisibis we have the city or the town surrounded we've got scooter toy all ready to go we've got a decent number of spearmen actually so we have a number of ways to enter the city they have a lot of light infantry that's the garrison here um and they have some cavalry we have we have some very decent cavalry as well so i think we're going to be able to uh route out their um their cab pretty quickly and circle around uh so yeah it should be interesting it should be an interesting fight All right. Uh, so interesting. I like this map, actually. There's a number of ways we can get in here. I think the easiest way to get the cavern is using these bridges. So we're going to focus our infantry right here. Let's get some scooter toy on the front. We'll have maybe what else do we have here there was an entrance here that could be interesting yeah let's do that let's get a couple of units on this side as well and then I think we're gonna have maybe some of these reserves yeah reserves over here because these are like 300 unit 300 infantry units but they're going to need some help, I think. <clears throat> and then I think we will. What will we do on this side? I think we'll have the archers maybe back here. 
and it looks like the general is a heavy infantry unit which is interesting let's leave him here oh my god 300 people that's crazy and then we have loads of cav i mean the cav is going to be so good we got some medium shock cavalry here the vexilatio let's bring them up here maybe Got some very light shock and some light shock cavalry on these, so you know what? We will get all four of them over here, maybe. And then we got these riders over here. Maybe we'll just leave them here as well. Actually, I might just shift a couple of these light units over here. All right. Let's see how this goes then. Oh, wait. Before we start, let's have a look at the... Um, let's, ha let's have a look at this infantry. Oh, why don't we get started? And then as they're moving, I can show you guys. Okay, interesting. So it looks like the enemy... Oh my gosh. All right, so... <laughs> the enemy cab is coming from over here. Uh, this is not cool. Bugger. Uh, let's get these cav units over here. I need to defend myself against these cavalry units. That's all right. We're doing okay on this side. I'm not going to worry about anything else, really. Why don't we... Uh, let's push him over here. Looks like they're attacking the general, but that's okay. We're going to push these units up. Whoop. No, that's not going to work. Um... Okay, so we got one cav unit over here that's kind of like pushing back inside. Oh my god, this is going to be messy. Uh, let's get you guys focusing fire on them. And then you're going up here. Got some units defending over there. That's okay. Let's push this cav onto the right side. Push these archers up. Try and push these guys heavily. It's like we're doing okay inside the city. These guys are medium spears. Okay, no, no, no. Hold your position. What are we doing over here? No, this is not good. These guys have spearmen. Oh my gosh. All right. Um, push back over here. These guys are not doing anything, so let's just push them into the city. Uh, yeah, 
Let's use these guys. Let's get them in. Okay, uh, no, let's do that. What else have we got here? Okay, the front line over here isn't doing so well. Losing some men. Oh, okay, cool. Let's move these guys out. we do here let's maybe move these guys out i guess oh wait no we're getting a charge over here that's cool that's cool that's fine guys have charged in Enemy units have returned to the battle. Oh, these guys are routing let's push them back maybe men are broken oh my gosh this is gonna be rough so we've caught that unit. We've caught that unit over there. Their spearmen, their spearmen are starting to come up though, which isn't definitely isn't ideal. Okay, that unit is routed. Let's get the general up here. lads get back not too bad not too bad so far they're gonna go for a charge 100 percent if we can um get these guys into the city on this side oh come on it sucks Come on, scoot a toy. You got this. All right, the cataphracts need to retreat. Let's get these spearmen into the mix. Got the tower now as well. Come on, not like this. Got them retreating. Let's get that cav unit back here. Uh, right. Let's get you up there. Let's get you up there as well. Archers are getting into position now. So we're going to get them right over there. Oh, you rallying beauties. Right, let's take off melee, get them over here. Let's get these spearmen over here as well. Oh, of course, right. Got a wall over there. All right, so first, Go for a charge in there. Nice. Let's get these guys back. The unit is running from the enemy. Let's go for a charge with these guys. is done oh, 
are we doing over here? Oh man, this fight in the front is absolutely demolishing me, man. Our men have regrouped. Their general is dead. A lethal blow. So their general is dead. We're doing some decent charges on them. Let's get these guys back and charge them now. So we can lay some fire down on them. Let's get these guys in for another charge. Yeah, I need to flank this mass of men there. I definitely need to flank them. Okay, you know what? Let's uh let's get these cataphracts over here. This is it, boys. This is the flank. Is starting to break now. Let's get these cav back. This unit is starting to break as well. Oh, looks like the enemy generals come down to me, my archers. And the units over in the front are breaking too. Breaking, lads. They're breaking. There we go. Come on. General's taking a beating, but it's not the end yet. Oh man, I lost that cab unit. That sucks. Ooh, hold up. One more charge, one more charge. Come on, we got this. charge was good enough okay you know what uh why don't you shift your focus a little bit here Retreating over here. Come on, lads. Understood. 
And that's the general retreating now as well. Oh my gosh. What a battle. Keep it going, envelop them here. Advance. This medium bow infantry has demolished like three units of cav. Granted, they're like, they're like light cav. They're light, you know, and nothing special about them. But still, I mean, that's impressive for a, uh, for a bowman, you know? All right. Wow. You know what? I might just save that replay. That was quite interesting. Um... nice so we took some we took some losses yeah 1200 that was expected i mean the balance of power was pretty heavily shifted towards them i kind of i could have probably flanked a little bit better and clearly the general's unit made a massive difference on the front there uh if he was a cav unit i don't know if we would have had that kind of that kind of luck really But we've taken the city. Oh man, we could even liberate it. Oh. I'm down, dude. You know what? Let's let's liberate it. Nice. Okay, cool. So we've liberated the city. Nisibis. Um What we'll do is We'll circle back towards Odessa. We'll do a bit of replenishment, and then I don't know if they come back up and take this abyss. Obviously, they're they're gonna have another army somewhere down here. You know, they're gonna bring it up, try and take it back. They're gonna have some casualties, and that's when we're actually gonna fight their real force, the real Persian force over here. Um. So yeah, what else can we do here? We can probably get rid of some of these units. Um, damn. Yeah, I might might think about getting rid of some of the other units there as well. These guys are back up here. All right, I think that's the end of the turn, isn't it? Ready, willing, and able. Wow. Hello, Cyber Hyper. Love the battles are that long right now. They are pretty long. I mean, that that like unit on unit frontline stalemate is pretty damn good. I mean, that's how um yeah, that's how that's how it should be in my opinion. It's the same in DEI as well. Like it just makes flanking super important in your battles. Hexmore, thanks for thanks for uh the info. So Bo Bow units are especially good. Toxitoy are some of the best units you can get, but definitely that's uh that's really good to know. 
Um, okay, so we're going to send this army back to Odessa here. Do a bit of replenishment. And then go back onto the offensive against Aaron Shah here. Oh man, they have a lot of allies actually. Kartli, Armenia. What have I got myself into? <laughs> Anything else I can do at Verona? Because we've just. Yeah. So let's convert that. Um. Aquelia, I just got rid of that, so we could get something better. Maybe we can go for local industry, just like up the income. And then we don't have we still don't have too much food in this province. So I'm gonna go for um let's go for some olive fields. Why not? Got a little dilemma here. Let's have a look at that. Bastinus of Sardis, a promising young gladiator who is expected to make a name for himself, is up against a tough opponent. Care to place a bet? I like how it's in talents. Okay. Um, let's bet on the gladiator. See what happens. It's like there is a navy. Pretty close to our lands over here. Looks like they've pulled back in the north as well. And Hispania is starting to muster another army. So. <laughs> so what we're going to do here is go down towards Cordoba. Hopefully they won't mind. Yeah, they do mind, don't they? They do. Uh. And then we're going to just go against Hispalis and try and take them on here. Are you ready to serve? Yeah, let's do it. I just, I want this city. I don't like that, uh, that, uh, that a city's just been liberated and that, that, that faction is thriving at my expense. I want to take that, secure the West and then focus on the North. Yeah, they need to they need to have a shield. Okay. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Give me two seconds. Um Got some spreading disease all over the empire. Aha! The young gladiator wins. I knew it. I knew it. He looked like a young, eager lad. At your command. All right, let's besiege the city here. Laying siege to the settlement. And let's bring up Justinius, Justinianus. And I'm guessing, yeah. <laughs> wipe them Let's out. just wipe them out here, as he said. We've got that rebellion, it looks like, has come up on um, Septim here. Yeah, Roman. Roman. Uh, we hunger for Roman battle. rebels. Let's see, what is the faction actually? Tyrannus Romaius. Rebel army. At your command. Cool. And then. We'll escape. Yeah, we've got this battle. Wow. Okay. Yeah. The uh, the balance of power isn't great, is it? Um. Roar! Even though we have so many more troops.
Yeah, you know what? Okay, we're gonna fight this battle. Final battle, and then we're gonna end the stream. This is gonna be an interesting one. Quashing this rebel faction that sprung up out of nowhere. It's gonna be tough, man. It's gonna be super tough. Because they have enough infantry to block every entry, right? There are one, two, three, four, five, six entry points into the city, including one being a bridge. So we're basically going to have to hold a couple of these entrances and use some flankers to get around somehow. Rainy weather. Here we go. Dry. Excellent. We could just make this a bridge battle. <laughs> that would take years. Okay, so our... Reinforcements are coming on the bridge side. Okay, cool. So we can we can just focus on this side. Tier one, tier one. Yeah, they're all tier one. Okay. Um. So let's go for. It's a couple couple of units there. Go for a couple of units here. Actually, yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll send um one of these first. Scoots toy levies in first. And then we've got some cheap swordsmen as well. We've got these axemen. The axemen can be effective, actually. If used properly then we have the bowman which would be nice on an angle actually so maybe just down the middle here and see which side needs the support um and then cav wise I don't want to use them. I don't want to send them somewhere. Let's keep the general here observing. All right. Uh, let's do this. The first units are going in. Look at that, man. Oof. This is going to be rough on the knees. If you know what I mean. Reinforcing troops, and not a moment too soon. And then let's push the missiles up here. We got plenty of room, so let's just move these guys roughly there. We'll move the general about there. Keep the cavalry behind. And then, yeah, we want to engage. Let's engage the front line first. And then we'll start moving up our, uh, our secret troops. In the meantime, these guys need to start coming up slowly but surely, so... Um, let's get them infantry first. And let's move them up here walking. All right. So here's the first unit. Alright, so first, we'll send in these guys. Oh 
Oh yeah, these guys are screwed, man. Might just be able to push through there. Oh my god. <laughs> I think they've lost like 60 troops in about 10 seconds. Yeah, we need some help over this side. Yeah, baby. Sneaky, sneaky. Nice. And then let's start pushing the cab up. Once these guys push forward. They're holding, so that's good. Let's do this. Oh, okay. Right, right, right. Hold, hold, hold. We have another unit over here, you see. So, um, I'm not liking that. Let's get these guys around here, maybe. Okay, cool. Let's do this. Send in the cav. Yeah. The tower has fallen. Good news. We've lost the tower. We've got this cav coming around as well. Let's just get them up there. Looks like our archers are doing okay to hammer those back units. tower there and then push these guys up here maybe these guys can keep going around I think oh we're losing that frontline unit there almost in position Okay, so they've seen the ploy. They know exactly what we're doing. Oh man, we're losing that front line bad as well. The men have thrown down their weapons and are fleeing. Okay, let's try and get these guys into the fight. Our men 
Again, I re one of our units has used all its ammunition. Let's get these guys back. Turning around. Oh yeah, we've lost that flank completely. Our forces have found their courage. All right, let's keep going. Let's flank around these units here. I need all these guys to start running now. I think. Turn these guys around. Oh boy. All right, they're finally losing this flank a little bit here, but I have not done well on this side at all, I think. Yeah, this is this side is rough, man. Uh, let's get over here with these guys. Oh my gosh. This guy is just holding like 5 units on his own. I love it. Oh, these guys are almost broken. Almost broken. Riders, advance. We need to try and flank these units now on this side. Both these units are retreating now, but we've lost that flank, so they, they can just reestablish themselves in this part of the city here. Alright, let's get these guys into the fight over here. Double time, men! Oh, wait, hold better idea um yeah can we push can we push these guys through is that an absolutely terrible idea possibly Both of these units up here. Flank, flank, flank. Oh, they made it. Look at that. Get over here, you lads. You beautiful lads. I'm gonna get them in there. I'm gonna get these guys in here. These guys are flanked. Although not very well. These guys are breaking as well. Mm. It's tough. Let's 
try and charge them, I think. No, wait. Yeah, yeah, no. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh man, there is so much about this that is like positive, but there's a lot that's bad as well. Here we go. Not bad. Decent morale decline on there. We've got more troops coming into the city now as well. Let's just send all these guys through as well. Let's do it. Nice. These guys did very well to end that little scuffle. Send them back. Send these guys there. And he's attacking our general. That's okay. Here we go, nice charge over here as well. All right, not amazing, but it's good enough. It's good enough. Send these guys back here, actually. Oh, looks like. Oh, yeah, these cav units are getting hammered. Let's send them back, I think. Let's send this one back as well. for a charge into that unit there. Trying to break some morale in this battle over here. Oh. I know, I know, I know. The men are broken and running for their lives. charge with this unit Finding issue there. We're okay. These guys are broken. Finally. Come on. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. That's good. Let's go. Let's corner this general. Let's 
These are Roman lands. Believe that side as well. Maybe go for a charge into these guys. The enemy are losing their advantage. When a free microsecond zoom in. <laughs> Brian White B, I can't stay just saying hail. Hey buddy, how's it going? Can you please play the guitar? Ah, uh, I will do, I will do. Talks just for you, I will. Yeah, this has been um pretty rough fight, I think, for a lot of my units. A lot of the attacking army at least. Yeah. We go for one more charge with this cav unit here, and it should be over. The cities burned down actually. That's wild. Oh man, these units look so good though. Fight. I am sweating. Don't celebrate yet. That guy's attacking you. Oh, <laughs> love the animations. All right. Oh, you know, I want to save that as well. That was That was a lot of fun. Wow, we did we did lose a lot of men though. We lost a lot of men. Those axemen were like pivotal. I don't know what they were doing, but they were holding holding against masses of enemy enemy infantry with a lot with a lot. Look at that, man. Damn. Um. Commander. Okay, that's okay though. We've taken his palace. We've got, we've got a fresh army with Justinian here. We can give him a lot of the units that are still okay, and he can push up north to help defend our northern territories here whoa uh okay well guys uh that's gonna be the end of the stream here today we've been playing age of justinian um it's been a hell of a campaign uh we've managed to i think we've we've managed to bring a lot more uh positivity to public order across the empire it's all pretty much steadily increasing. Um, economically, we're doing pretty well. We've managed to take back some of these uh, desolate cities. Neapolis, Fiorentia, Verona. We've got a nice frontier on the west here. We've attacked Erenshar and uh, established a puppet kingdom in Nisibis, or an ally rather. And uh, that would that would help us to kind of buffer us against them and then focus on other territories maybe up north as well so yeah i think i think it's been a pretty good campaign i mean 
I've gone through uh, with you guys some of the changes that have been made. A lot of the emblems, if not all of the emblems have changed. The faction leaders, general models, all of that has been updated. Unit visuals have seen a massive upgrade and they look absolutely amazing. Um, and it's definitely a very good time to get back into Age of Justinian. If you haven't played for a while, now is a great time. Um, I'm going to be making a video about all these updates as well. So stay tuned for that. Probably coming next week. Um, but that's going to be it. So, um, thank you everyone for being here, for joining the stream. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed playing it with you guys here. And I will see you all tomorrow for another video. Thanks guys. Have a great morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. And I'll see you tomorrow.